Hi, I'm Tim Sullivan, Sullivan's Travels and LGV, and today we're going over to ARF to welcome the new puppy mill breeding dogs that have just come in and will be ready for adoption very soon. Thank you. To introduce to you, from, they were rescued from a puppy mill in Missouri where they were cast off by their owners, uh, the owners of commercial breeding facilities known as puppy mills. Fortunately for these and 52 other dogs, there are people in Missouri working undercover to take in these dogs and get them to freedom. We've called today's rescue Sadie's Freedom Trail, and I'll tell you a little about Sadie in a minute. Back to Missouri, the puppy mill capital of the U.S., conditions at puppy mills are horrific. One of the most frequently asked questions is, if they're so bad, why doesn't the government just shut them down? The problem is that puppy mills are regulated by the USDA as if dogs were a crop. All puppy mills must be licensed, which are weak laws, and then licensed by the state where they operate. The laws are just not tough enough at the federal and state level, and efforts to change the laws have met with mixed results so far. Even worse than puppy mills who sell directly to the public via the internet and classified ads don't even need to be licensed. The most effective thing you can do to impact puppy mills is to adopt your next pet and refer all your friends to shelters and rescue groups. Okay, so we're going to start with our introduction of the people who came, uh, the volunteers who work here at ARF every day walking and socializing these animals. And many people, including Dr. Tara Allman, who's on her way, supported this rescue, and we are so grateful to her. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce her. She's a little bit scared, and she has mild dental disease, but she will make, and she uh, was significantly matted when she got here, uh, but she has mild dental disease, and uh, she's going to make a great pet. I should say that none of these dogs are available yet. You see that they're quite nervous, so, you know, it takes a while for them to get free. And, um, you know, she has a, a mammary gland tumor, which is a very common thing with puppy mill breeder dogs, they get mammary glands. And she's got some dental disease, a cross between a sharp bay and a pup. So this is what we call a designer dog, where they've experimented with the breed. Anyway, she has, um, She's in pretty good shape. She's got some ear infections, but uh, awfully pretty. And um, Lulu's name? No. Mammary. Oh, she got extended mammary. Uh, well, her nipples are extended, as you can see. No. Oh, and she's five. Five-year-old Boston Terrier. Again, a lot of nipples going on there. She's been uh, pendulous mammary glands is the uh, technical term, but she's been breeding her whole life in a cage. This is this is this is Roxy, and she's a Yorkshire Terrier, five years old. Uh, she's very shy. You have to be very careful. Roxy was was very mad at first, it's better. And when she uh, is saved, she'll get a full groom. That's right, Bobby, let everyone see her. And of course, you can see for five years, she's been doing nothing but produce puppies. Nothing but puppies for Angie. Very pronounced um, for Angie, but um, it is a treatable, it is a treatable condition. And all the dogs come back. No, you'd want to take every dog for her. I know. Yeah. Six years old. 
Very matted. We love you. Welcome, guys. You're going to be so lovely. Yeah. 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 Little, or as we call her, Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim. This She's five Kim. years old. Oh, an English God. bulldog. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what does she weigh? Oh, 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Oh, my. No swimming for you. <laughs> She's got the, the usual mammary glands and moderate dental. <laughs> But they will become available over the next few weeks, and we look forward to finding them. Hi, I'm Jamie from the Animal Rescue Fund of the Hamptons, and these puppy mill breeder rescue dogs will be available for adoption. Check our website to see their availability at www.arfhamptons.org.